This project we're going to uh, cover this, I think it's a 25 foot chaparral. Uh, I think it's 20, maybe 25 from the swim platform forward or 23, 27, I don't know, something. 20 something feet. I got a 28 foot wide roll. I think I'm going to go over sideways. I think I'll have enough. If not, I can patch a piece in. But every boat is different. A lot of them you're going to have these hooks on the back that I like to tie to. And then you're going to have the hook on the front that I like to bring through also. And uh, what we're doing right now is putting around the perimeter strap. Perimeter strap is basically going to be at the water line, a little higher at the front, but basically at the water line. Go around the boat like that, tie that off. Um, I'm not going to include the swim platform because I'm doing a 28 foot wide roll. So I'm going to run another piece from this hook up over the top and then back down to here. So that way I can tuck the shrink wrap underneath it and stuff. But homeowners here i'm going to check out with him and then uh, we'll get started like i was saying uh, i use these back hooks here uh, to put the thing on and then if i just take the strap and go right around to that front hook and pull it tight it's going to fall under the boat because some boats are shaped differently and you gotta you gotta kind of keep that um that perimeter strap up so i just use a couple pieces of tape just to kind of hold it in place and the tape will come off once i get the top on and well actually no before i get the top on i'm going to run some straps from here down and that'll hold the um, strap from falling down. And then uh, once I get the top on there, it's gonna be on the, at the right area. So that's kind of what I'm doing now. I'm just kind of putting a couple pieces of tape on it and getting it set. So I'll get back to you when that's done, show you what it's like. I got the couple little pieces of tape on there to kind of hold the strap up. If I pull these tape, this tape off, it'll slide down. Uh, I have it tight and believe me, you can tighten this up as hard as you can by hand. You still will be able to pull some slack out of it to get the, the uh, shrink wrap under it. So by all means, just tight, make it as tight as you possibly can by hand and tie it off. Again, here's a couple pieces of tape. Got it through that front eyelet around. And then I have this piece going over the top of the swim platform. So what this does is make a framework for the, for the uh, cover to come underneath it and stick in there and hold it down. And then when you weld it, it won't try to shrink up and go up the boat. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep it from dropping off because uh, I want to get rid of the tape and I'm going to just put some straps from here down on each of these posts here three on, you know three on each side
show this last part because I had a buddy of mine over here taking some stuff off the boat. But I run a center strap up the middle of the boat over the top of the um, that upright. And then to hold the upright up, I run a diagonal strap over it from cleat to cleat. Another diagonal over from cleat to cleat. I staple it to the top of the uh, 2x4, put a sponge on it, and wrap it with tape. That sponge is to help the um, wrap to go over the top of it without getting all cut up. Uh, I have all these, I think I showed these, these uprights here. That keeps the strap from falling down all the way around. And I have these corner supports here just to kind of take up any slack that will be in there from the, from the um, shrink wrap. Just to kind of hold it upright while I shrink it. And then that's pretty good all the way around. And then now we're ready to uh, to roll the uh, shrink wrap over the boat. Now uh, I'm going to do this a little differently than most because it's a 20, it's a 27 foot boat minus the swim platform, so 25. I have a 28 foot roll that will go over sideways, uh, and it'll make it somewhere in here. And then all I do is just cut off a band. And then uh, kind of tape it to it and then shrink it to it and then it'll take up the slack. What I like to do is uh, these, these things can get wild, get away from you in a breeze and stuff like that. So you want to kind of, you want to get them kind of compact when you bring it over the boat. If you just try to bring this whole thing over the boat, it'll unwrap on you. So what I like to do is take a couple feet out of it and then take a piece of the, uh, just a little piece of scrap here strap like this and then kind of go underneath it here just lot it together like this just kind of lot it together like that and now that'll kind of hold together <clears throat> when I bring it up over the boat and down to the other side and uh, when I cut it off um, It should it should all stick around. So let me get up there and uh, Get this over the boat Feeling it's gonna fall off that thing again, but we'll try our best, right? Where can I put you guys? Here's Take a peek over the side of the boat here to see if we have enough. Eh, I got another couple inches. And that should be fine right there. Okay, so. All right, so yeah, I have the about a foot, little over a foot hanging down, which is good there. That's the widest part of the boat, the center. And then uh, 
I'll go ahead and cut this off, you know, right here, and then we'll be done. up and laid across the boat and positioned and then we'll see what we got to do oh these bees are just all over man luckily they're not stinging but they're all over the place all right so remember i gotta cut that strap there oh, i can reach it and then i don't think i can do this from the ground but we will Nah, we'll go up top. And then this stuff is just folded on its whole bunch, so you can just grab it and kind of unfold it. All right, so this is when the wind starts kicking up and it really starts making everything a mess. So you kind of got to be quick about this. <laughs> Get it over the boat. If you need some tape to hold it down, do that. Tuck it in as best you can quickly. That's about as much as we want the bow so the stern I need to take any cutoffs I get and uh, just patch that so that won't be too bad so let's go ahead and start getting this tucked under and you know what I didn't do what I should have done is get my uh, my torch ready and I didn't do that you gotta get your you gotta get your torch ready first because need to weld this almost immediately. I yeah, just tucked that under about I don't know, six eight inches. Get a hand get a uh, fireproof hand.
kind of smack it against each other and that welds the back side to the to the front here and then the strap is in the center of it so now this won't now this won't pull off so let's go on the other side and get that one i can see i left a little bit long over here but that's all right strap it's right here and then come down about you know six seven eight inches at foot just make yourself a slice because we're going to take off the excess here but i just want to have something to kind of grab onto and you don't want too much of the shrink wrap wadded up underneath makes it messy and it doesn't weld real good together it to itself okay all right all right you guys are still on but now that i have this on across the sides here you're gonna have a couple of folds because of the shape of the boat one's right here and you just kind of want to make a good good size pleat like that tuck all that under and kind of feel, you can just kind of feel the bottom of the edge of the boat because the strap is up here. So if you just go on the edge of the boat, the bottom here, cut this off, you'll be good. Hoping that I can use the cutoff here to do the, the piece along the back. I'm not sure that I can, but we'll give it a shot. So now what we're gonna do, just kind of go around, get this pleat in here, get that tightened up, get it underneath it like that. That's kind of the key with leaving this uh, perimeter strap tight. You can tuck it in there and it'll kind of stay. You know, the friction will hold it on there. So now I'm just going to get the glove on and we're just going to weld this real quick, this bottom edge. And then we'll uh, do the same on the other side. And then we'll figure out what we're doing here with the back. I have an idea. I think the way I did it last year was a little bit time consuming. I think I got a better idea this year, so we'll try. short sleeve shirt and I think I'm going to have uh, bare arms by the end of this, I can tell. So 
that's kind of good right there i like that so let me go uh on the other side and get that zapped up real quick and i'll bring you back when we figure out what we're doing here one thing i forgot to mention that's crucial when you're putting this on because of the shape of the boat you're going to want to try to get these these wrinkles out so you're going to want to try to pull it like that and that's just going to kill you don't do that don't do that at all just go right straight down pull the pull the cover down and if you end up with a with a pleat that's a little bit big don't try to take it out by pulling the other stuff forward because you're going to just end up with a mess somewhere else so just go right straight down and then get it tucked and believe me when you're all done with this all these wrinkles will be out of it and it's going to be tight and fine don't try to get crazy and do it you know i had a buddy of mine brian you guys know brian so my my dock neighbor we were doing his boat one year in his driveway and he'd never done it before he was helping me out and uh as i'm shrinking it as i'm welding it he's pulling he's pulling it pulling it pulling it for me to get it and i'm, and I'm not really paying attention and i get it all welded up and then I'm, i look back and i go oh no and when we went to the other side of the boat the strap was here and the canvas was like or the, the shrink wrap was like this because he had pulled it all across the way and it did and it you know it screwed it up uh luckily um we were able to either stretch it or add something to it i can't remember what we did but we made it work and it was fine but if you just if you try to if you try to pull these wrinkles out in the beginning before you get the boat shrink wrapped you're gonna you're gonna get in trouble so just pull it just pull it straight down and tuck it under and whatever wrinkles you have just leave them don't worry about it they'll come out later so let me get this welded up and then uh, we'll move on the sides all welded down uh, the back end is just loose because I, I gotta I gotta pleat that tuck it and get that tightened up before I put a patch in there but what I want to do now is um, tie the side down you know so it doesn't rise up see how it's kind of rising in the middle there it'll do that like this would pull up to like here if i just started shrinking it and then you know that's not good so what i want to do is in like in three points i'll do like right in front of this bunk under the boat um i guess i'll go right in front of that bunk under the boat and this one unfortunately the bunks go all the way forward and it makes contact with the boat I don't like to tie to a trailer in case I ever need to remove the trailer, but I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to tie to that hook down there and just pull straight down. So that'll work for there. And then once I get it tied down, we'll get this back tightened up. And then before I even think about shrinking the rest of the boat, see how I just did that? Before you even think about shrinking the boat, I got to seal this up because if the wind gets in there, when, you, when you're putting heat, applying heat in the front, it'll just bubble out like a, like a balloon. The wind will just catch it. So... You got to get this sealed up so let me get the straps on there show you what that looks like and then we'll uh get this back back buttoned up another thing i like to do on these tape seams because you're you know, you're cutting a hole um in the cam in the cover there and before it's before you run heat to it it can tear pretty easily so what i like to do is take a piece of tape and cut it like this and then you just put it Hold these two ends underneath. And now this corner won't tear out. Yeah. Alright. And I'm just gonna tie it down there. Tie that nice and tight like that. And we'll be good. And we just work our way around the boat. So I'll be back in a minute. The scrap I had wasn't quite wide enough, unfortunately. So I just took off another um, uh, four feet of that uh, material and went over the boat this direction, tucked it up under the corners, welded on the back here. Um, 
this side here did it and then as you can see when you heat it up and just slap it to each other it just it just seems it just locks right in so i'll get on the ladder and i'll get that across the top and then i have the six inch tape that goes right along this thing and then this will it'll never come apart so <clears throat> i'm going to go ahead and get on the ladder and get that taken care of and then i got to do some with the bow i just usually bunch that up get that out of the way and then we can go ahead and start shrinking this tight so let me get this here oh and then i got to put some sort of a little <sighs> probably gonna do like a little patch yeah i'll probably just put tape over this after it's shrunk so that'll do let me get uh let me get this side all uh or this back piece all buttoned up and then i'll get back to you and we'll start welding this up we're ready to shrink this down uh you can see that i i uh, got them welded together and then i got a nice big piece of tape around both seams and the bow here I went around the front of the trailer to kind of protect it, but now looking back at it, I really could have slid that whole thing back about four feet because his bow is, you know, there's the seats don't start till here. There's like fiberglass there. I could have just done a little patch on the corner, pulled that back, and probably not had to do the big patch in the back. But live and learn. If I do it next year, I'll I'll think about doing it that way. So now. Uh, we're just going to start shrinking it. I'm going to start at the back here and just go up as far as my arm can reach and just kind of go back and forth and go to the front. When I get to that pleat, I'll glue that pleat in there and then uh, we'll keep going. So let me set you up and we'll take a look. Alright, so that's it for this side, uh, for the low area. I gotta get the wand out to do the upper. But you can see I got little holes and stuff like that. You're gonna get that every once in a while. It's not a big deal. You just cover that with a piece of tape when you're all done. That's good. And then over here, this tore quite a bit. There's a nick in it here, and it's spread, but no big deal. I'll just patch this up with some tape, and then we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side shrunk down, and then I'll get the wand on. The wand on. I'm gonna get the wand on and uh, and start doing the rest of the top. So I'll bring you back when I when I get the wand out. With both sides shrunk down as far as I can reach by hand, I put the uh, the didgeridoo attachment on there. Uh, it's like a six foot six foot attachment. Uh, yeah, six footer. And uh, and I, now I got to get the uh, the, the high stuff. But I know why it's called a didgeridoo. Listen. Thank you. 
Ready? <laughs> it's got that awesome noise. Let's see. So, you're going to be tempted when you do this to chase those wrinkles around, okay? To try to get it super, super tight. You're just not going to get it, and I'll tell you why. That wrinkle up there is where the, is where the shrink wrap is touching a metal pole. The metal pole is a lot colder than the rest of everything around it, you know? So, when you start shrinking it, you put a lot of heat on that thing to get that tight, but then what you're going to do is you're going to burn through on either side. So I know it's tempting to try to get this thing like a drum and like zero wrinkles in it, but you're just not going to get it. So what, what's going to happen is once I go to the other side of the boat and start shrinking that side, it actually pulls on this side too. It's, it's just going to stretch everything. And then this, what the shrink wrap also does is as it cools, it actually gets even tighter. Um, right now it's pretty pliable. Like if I were to go touch it, it'd probably be, you know, pretty pliable. Um, but as it cools, it's just going to get tighter and tighter and tighter. And, uh, I don't know if you can hear it. Let me see. You can hear it kind of, you know, creaking. It's, it's, as it's cooling down, it's actually trying to shrink even more and kind of getting tighter, but it's kind of windy out. So I don't know if you can hear it. Um, all right, so now we're just going to continue on. I'll get the back half here, or the back portion of the boat, and then uh, we'll go around the other side and get that one, and then we'll be all done. So let's get moving. Higher, but I just wanted to show you something here. This back edge here. Remember, there's a there's a vinyl there's a vinyl cushion underneath here. So I only shrink up to like here, and then shrink down to here. I try to keep the heat off of that as much as I can. You're gonna get a little bit of heat on there, but you know nothing nothing that I'm gonna burn. But you got to just pay attention to that stuff be careful but anyways let me get over to this side here and we'll get this side shrunk down and wrap this up
stick up there that I want to um, get some tape on. It's also on a seam, so I'll get that seam taped up. Uh, that's it. I might get that. Oh, yeah, I did forget this corner here. All right, so I'm not, not quite done, but we're, we're getting there. Oh, I can really hear it popping now. No, but that looks good. That will definitely hold off the snow. And uh, by the way, this boat is for sale. Um, if you want to know more about it, contact me. But it's for sale on the three axle trailer. It's obviously already winterized, serviced, everything's ready to go. You want to buy it? Cruise on out of here, take cross country. Or wherever you live, you can come over here and buy the thing, hook up, and take off. All right, let me get the uh, that back corner done, and we'll wrap it up. All right, that'll take care of this one. I had a couple little nicks up there that I put some tape on, got that seam sealed up better uh, around here. I got up all the way up to that that light up on top and got that all shrunk down good. Uh, that's just a piece of dirt. That's not a nick. There was one over here that I put a little piece of tape on right there. Uh, that seam is all sealed up really nice and shrunk up, welded together. And this side is nice and good. Everything is buttoned up. He's got a couple of uh, jars of uh, damp rid in the boat. Boat bone dry. He's got some damp rid in there. Um, I didn't put any. I didn't put any vents in it. Uh, I could. I don't, we don't really need to. I don't think. If he wants to, he'll let me know. But that just consists of I'll come up here and just cut a hole, like a little hole right there, and just put a piece of shrink wrap over it and kind of tuft it up in the middle so that air can get up inside that way but not snow down the other way. I'll do that and then, you know, one or two back vents back over in the other corner. It'll be fine, but if he wants me to put a couple vents in there, I will. Uh, if somebody comes and buys this thing and they're actually going to take it, yeah, any length I don't want to have any holes in the boat to where wind can get in there and and you know puff it up so uh, that can get put on any time but if somebody comes and buys it they can feel safe to just hook up and drive away with this thing so that is going to do it for this one I have another boat I'm going to do today I think it's a 23 footer so this 28 foot roll sideways will do the whole thing no problem and it's a Donzi it's smaller um, you know lower on a trailer same type of uh, but anyways I'm gonna do that that's probably gonna be another video or I just won't put it on camera that'll do it for this one so please if you could rate comment subscribe and have a great day